All right, subtitles. Yo, you move down a bit. I guess that's fine. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? We have an Chuck Norris as a Russian general. That was my art project, basically. Um, uh, what? Uh, it's like show and um, build eight. Ah, oh, my English thing has just left me. Um, uh, basically, show. What is what is that word? I don't know. Um, convey, convey. That works. Okay, convey a modern icon as an old icon. So that was my old project, and this is basically the thing. It's due. It's actually due Monday. No, Tuesday. But today is Friday, and I need to print it tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day I can print it. So. To print it today, uh, finish it today, and um, I showed this to my art teacher. I, I'm doing it digitally, digitally, and I'm the only one in my art class who's doing it digitally. So, and all only gripe she said, she says she's like, oh wow, it's awesome. But only thing she wanted more of is texture. So I'm gonna show you today how I do the texture thing. So just stay tuned for that. Um, basically, I have all. This is basically how my my uh, pictures look. I just uh, teach it all day. I always have the line work on top. You can see there, that looks like ghostly and scary and weird. Okay, yeah. Line work on top, and then I have some color. This is basically just, uh, I don't know why I have the suit stuff not in there, but okay. Basically, I have every color, every different color I have on a different layer. You can see I actually named it here, whites, grays, maroon, sky, people, people skin, clothes. Uh, this is just sketches, so we're not going to uh, make that visible. So um, basically, all I have to do is, um, this is basically Chuck Norris's colors. So yeah, belt, all that. She said she wanted more texture. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, basically, I'm going to go into my brushes, and I have all these weird brushes here. Mostly all of the all of these blutters, here, uh, blutters, brushes here are splatter brushes. It's like they make splatters. So I'm going to show you real quick. Just take a nice deep red color. But, uh, no, that's not going to show. Let's show it on the line work layer. No, that's not working at all. Why is that not working? Ah, it could be one of one of two things. Control A, Control D. I have no idea why that's not working. But it's splatter brushes. We're not going to use those today. But uh, basically, if you want to convey more texture, I guess you have to have some more brush strokes in there. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys how I do that today. So um, I'm guessing she has like things like this blue part in uh, in mind. So I'm not gonna, even going to use my reference today. I had this reference picture, but. Basically, all she wants is more texture, so I'm just gonna um, get that. It's like this light blue. That's the layer. Okay, more texture. So um, basically, more detail. And um, the way you, you convey texture is you basically just have some more brush strokes in there. So I'm just gonna make this bigger. And uh, this 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 thing right here. Um, brush mode. So I'm in, in brush. I have my brush in the hand. You can go in the modes here and you can go on multiply. Multiply basically takes the color you have in your hand and makes it darker or just like multiplies it, I guess. So yeah. Um, and I'm not going to do it on a 100 opacity. I'm basically, I, a painting opacity for me is about 30 to 40 um, percent opacity. And I guess I'm not going to use this brush, am I? So yeah, more texture. Usually I soften it on purpose, but Seeing as she wants more texture, I guess I'm gonna give her some more texture. And you can already see there, you just like this more strokes, more strokes, and it gives more texture. Good times, right? Yeah, so that's basically all there is to. Oh, okay, I just put a little thing there. I hate it when I have my ruler enabled. Oh, shoot, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I put it full screen. Nope, nope, we don't want it full screen. Sorry about that. You saw my desktop there. Don't exploit that. Okay, let me just put this off the ruler like booyah. Okay, basically all there is to it, more strokes. Just add to more texture to it. And there you can already see, there's some more texture, you see? So yeah, this multiply button, I basically just selected the color it already is, and it's just darkening it or making it more, I don't know. You can even like, now it has that color selected. So now you can go to an even darker color, like the darkest version, you can see it's even darker now. So, but I don't wanna go, I don't wanna overdo it, you see? But already, texture is imminent. Okay, I'm getting a message. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold. But that has to wait. Okay, hold it. Uh, I just I just don't want to know if... I, I'm just going to check if it's my mom. <laughs> yeah, 
if it's parents, it's important. Remember, kids, if your parents message you, it's not even a. Me- oh, it's just a favorite on Twitter. Don't don't worry about that. Okay, so already more texture here. I can already see some more. I hope that helps. It looks like it's more brushy. It's basically like a tell you what it is it's just it's more brushy and it looks more like painted if you look at it from a distance it's like whoa that's totally painted bro it's like yeah you totally did that in your own yeah because all my 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 teacher is like i'm the only person in my class who does digital art the way i do it and um she was like um yeah there's not a lot of texture there because i basically select a spot and then fill it it was awesome when she told me, "Yeah, you can do digital, man. I want to see. I want to see my students try new things." I was like, "It's not really new, but okay, thanks, because it's a lot quicker to do it digital." So, more strokes. I'll get in with the multiply thingy, and um, I'll show you how to make things lighter as well. This is the, basically the only way I could think of as making this whatever, giving it more texture. So yeah, just but not too many shadows, otherwise things are gonna look like they're weird. Uh, that's basically more texture. I just, I don't know. And then the finer parts is supposed to be like uh, ropey thingies. So, um, and if it's too dark, like I'm seeing this section right here, it's a little too dark. You can use the lighten version. Like these are a bunch of modes, bunch of modes you can use for your brush. I'm gonna use the lighten one. Okay. So, and then from there you just select a light color and just it lightens it even more. And usually it's better to take a. a a little bit of a a darker uh, more whatever opacity so yeah it's just it's a good time okay yeah okay that's pretty much all there is to it just adding more little bits of detail in there um, I'm gonna set this to multiply again because I need to do the darker parts a little bit more but yeah already you can see more texture like basically I don't know <laughs> looks like more texture to me but okay, let's do this section right here. This dark. Okay, but this dope is opacity is too high. So just control Z is your best friend when it comes to doing digital art or pretty much anything on any computer. Um yeah. Control Z. For those of you who don't know, control Z is erase, control X is uh cut, control C is copy, control V is paste. So if you don't know those are very useful. Okay. And pretty much that is all there is to what I'm doing. Just adding more texture. I don't know, like these are the only sections I can think of that have not en- enough texture. This opacity is way too low. Bump it up to 40 and just hit it with this brush and maybe it hits some more texture, you know? I already can see from from like what you can see right now, it might not look as good, but you, when you zoom out, it's like, yeah, I can see that. That has more texture to it now. Maybe just a little bit more like this. You know, maybe just a little bit more than that. It's pretty neat. Okay, already you can see this has more texture. Everything here has a little bit more texture. I think she was she she had the the whole uh, jacket thing in mind too. So the suit gray, that's this layer, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna disable this this sketch layer. I saw it was not okay. Okay, well I'm wearing the suit's gray area, and you can already see there. I I basically use the same technique here, but um. Obviously, she wants something more. And um, something to not go over the lines. This is like the biggest thing I've learned in the past year. If you select a, a, a layer and you choose this button, this is basically matte. Uh, not matte. Uh, clipping mask. Mask. Mask is the word I was looking for. Um, all it does is it basically takes the layer and whatever is on it, you can't go over it. Like, look, if I, if I do a line like this, it only puts a line on the areas where there is already color. So it's good for coloring between the lines. Hey, hey. Um, now it's not doing anything. Oh, I'm back on the yellows layer. Oops. Okay. But anyway, more texture, she said. So more brush strokes. Now, why are you doing this, Photoshop? Uh, okay. Basically more texture. It's like I put in a lot of work into this art project and... Um, I'll let you know what the teacher thinks. If she, I, I saw Dominic says like, "Oh, you can put your art projects on here," and this is basically my art project for school, and it's due, yeah, it's due Tuesday, all that jazz. Um, basically, gonna put some more things everywhere. See, so you can already see like some 
light like doing that that best perfect texture res riserization so, and um I can do lighter colors as well because right up what I'm doing right now is I'm darkening it a lot so yeah more texture basically I didn't do enough brush strokes to be honest it, it looks like a little bit of a wax figure but I kind of like it that way but whatever the, te the teacher is always right the customer is always correct basically that's what's what's good all right some more texture actually it looks like he's wearing like a blanket right now but whatever we'll fix it when we do the lighter color uh, yeah that's pretty good okay now I'm gonna go over it with a basically like a big light color so I'm just gonna take this like the lightest thing I can see right now and go on to lighten and just glaze over it kind of big no you screw that up that's what's on multiply lighten thank you very much and basically it's going to give it that little bit of a more waxy look but I just don't want it to look like a blanket like it's looking right now and yeah already it looks pretty texture is good so just more brush strokes basically make it look a little bit more painted and I can see this area right here so I need to go into the reds where are the reds at yo the reds this one I always test the layer by just turning it on and off um, I don't know how I'm gonna convey some more texture in this but we'll, we'll give it a shot basically use the same technique just gonna make this a little bit darker uh, use multiply put the opacity a little bit more lower because I don't want to screw this up completely and more more texture I see make the brush a little bit smaller little bit smaller yeah you can already see some some more texture as it is the presentation and I think that looks pretty good um, I'm just gonna go over it with a lighten as well uh, take the lightest color I can see I can even lighten it a little bit more like that and uh, yeah that's actually that's actually pretty good Put some areas in there alrighty that's more texture good times and uh, basically, I'm, I think I have enough, enough texture on his. Maybe his hair could use a little bit more texture because I use basically the selection color method I use. It goes really quick. <laughs> Look, I called it ginger because he, he's a ginger. Like, I have nothing against gingers. Like, they are Chuck Norris ish. It means you are related to Chuck Norris. How awesome is that, huh? His hair might be a little bit dark, but I just need to throw in some more brush strokes here and there. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Just bump it up, yo. Put some more hair in there. Basically, because his hair looks like a helmet right now, kind of. I might need to use a little bit of a darker color. Oh, wow. Okay, go, going over his eyebrows there for a second. But I didn't color his eyebrows like shaded at all. Now that I'm looking at it. So, yeah, let's do the multiply aeration. Take the darkest color. Can bump up the opacity just a little bit. There we go. Getting some more texture out of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. That's good. I like that. Not a whole lot. But that's the thing with the painting. You don't need to do a whole lot. And that's what Photoshop gets does really well is that subtleness. Subtleness is it's I hear people use Manga Studio way more. I have nothing against that. I just Manga Studio. But the cool thing about Manga Studio is you only have to pay for it once and you have it forever. Photoshop, you have to pay for it monthly. Just stupid. But uh, yeah, Manga Studio is pretty good too. Oh, but they're basically the same. I, I, except I hear you get way better brush strokes in, uh, um, in Manga Studio, by the way. So I might give that a shot sometime. Like download a trial, maybe do a video on it, whatever. Uh, we can already see a whole lot more texture. Maybe I'd do his skin just a little bit. I think his skin needs a little bit of yellowishness, so I'm just gonna go to edit, uh, and I'm gonna go to hue and saturation. I'm just gonna add some saturation to that. You can see, just give his cheek a little bit more blush there, slightly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna I have my multiply brush, so I'm just gonna go in here and just like give him a little bit more texture. Uh, maybe it's this color. Let's shade him a little bit more add some texture in there so yeah this was a really fun art project gotta say it was like a, one of the better ones like uh, 
I know some of these are really, which I do for my school, are really tedious sometimes. And uh, yeah, and it's good to like make these videos in real time the way I do because I, I a lot of times I I like watching the whole speed paint thing. I was into that at some point, but now it's just like. Um, I'm just gonna put this on normal. I I used to like the speed painting a lot, but you don't learn a lot from that. It's not. You don't you don't um, you don't hear any like commentary or whatever from the guy who's who's doing it. So yeah, I'm just gonna do these archways a little bit more because these archways I kind of kind of rushed the background a little bit, but yeah, I'm just gonna and maybe over the sky this one I'm gonna maybe put some clouds in there just add a little bit more detail that's usually what makes a picture of detail man uh, whites where the whites at here okay that's the whitest layer and um, basically the same thing again just add some little bit of texture this I usually I just use the shading brush I had to actually add some more texture I understand totally what the teacher meant more texture that's it that's good time um, I think my opacity may be a little bit too high. Let me just bump that down a little bit. Especially with lighter colors, it's easy to screw things over. I think my color needs to be a little bit darker as well. Because, uh, yeah, let's make that like all the way black. I just don't want to... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just don't want to overdo it. But that's that's texture, right? If, if that's not texture, I don't know what is. Um, you can use textured... Um, brushes I haven't really looked into that all that much but um I yeah I, I haven't really looked into that much but if, if I if you guys want me to do a video on textured brushes or whatever um maybe I'll I'll look into it if I get enough requests but right now I, this works man this is what I'm doing so yeah just adding a little bit more texture into this it doesn't have to be perfect guys that's really the thing with artwork it has to be fun you have to find your your uh, your balance between fun and um, what looks good. So yeah, I mean it doesn't look amazing right now, but it's not it's a it's a focus point and it's not a focus point in the picture. Like Chuck Norris himself is a focus point in the picture. So I'm just gonna bump it up, bump it up. This video is gonna be long, but yeah, you basically catch the drift of it. Um, adding a little bit more texture in here and there. Uh, I might even overlay some textures, but I don't think my teacher will like that. Oh dear, that's not good. Uh, because that's kind of like copying. That's kind of like copying something from the internet. Um, but then again, yeah, you can do that in real life as well. You can uh, use like a sponge or something to convey texture or whatever. But yeah, that's that's basically there is to what this is about. Wow, I hate when I do that. It's a ruler. I kind of sort of sometimes use that stuff. But if you want to get more work done in Photoshop, you just zoom out. Just get it done. Get it done. All right, and this basically is not shaded at all, so I'm just going to throw some lines in there. Maybe shade it just a little bit. And uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about more texture. And for those of you who commented about more uh, Photoshop uh, pictures, I hope you learned a thing or two. Uh, I know some people comment about oh digital painting. It's like, well there you have it. I hope you, I hope you learned a thing or two. Thing or two. Um, cause I sure I I think I would have learned something if I watched this video. Yeah. So throw some lines in there. The cool thing about this brush I'm using is that you make it pressure sensitive or um it's pressure sensitive, but you can make it pressure sensitive if you go inside. What is this doing? Uh, if you go inside the brush settings, which is basically uh, this one, you can change all the things in here. So just look for this icon somewhere. I, I changed this space so it looks the way I like it. I think it's uh, sort of if you go to Windows and you, uh, window and you ch uh, change the workspace to painting, you'll basically get the same basic layout like I have it. But I changed this navigation and stuff right here. So you can change. Um, uh, let me show you. Can basically change the shape dynamics and transfer and all that of your brush so but basically i like this brush i think i downloaded it somewhere um but you can change the settings yourself and i have made a one or two brushes for myself so uh yeah that's basically all there is to it oh my gosh i hate it when that happens 
I do not want to rule right now. Thank you, Photoshop. Okay. Adding little bits of texture. And um, the longer you do this for, the, the more smooth your picture will look in the end. Uh, I don't know how to basically explain it, but if you look at my old pictures, like um, I did this once, uh, speed art for a guy called Jimco, Jimco3. Um, if you look at the, the pictures, like the, the that piggy picture I did, that sounds weird. Um, you'll see that I, I put in a lot more effort into this kind of technique. Usually I just use a six selection and um, color technique, which I, I'll explain maybe in another video. But that's basically what like what I did here on the hair, like this. I selected the area and just filled it, which is not very good, but uh, it's basically the coloring technique they use for um, uh, comics. So you can, uh, I can show you that at some point. It looks very good and it goes really quick. That's what I like about it is you don't need to spend all of your time on it because it basically takes care of itself. And uh, it's made for comics because it takes, it doesn't take a lot of time actually. Uh, and these characters, I think they, they do pretty good. I don't want to put a lot of effort into the whole background thing because I don't know. I don't, I don't like the background card. <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> joke. Um, the sky color doesn't look all that great, but that's basically the, the reference picture I use looks like that. So I'm just going to bump this up to a nice white, maybe put some clouds in there. Something that looks like clouds. And uh, maybe here a bit lower up there a little bit. Just doesn't like it that, like it that, uh, so that it doesn't look as, uh, I don't know, Photoshop. <laughs> That's ironic, you see, I just made an oopsie there. Uh, but yeah, this is basically all there is to it. Um, I think I'm pretty much done here. I don't think I need to put in a lot more effort into this. Maybe this, I spoke too soon. Whites, there we go. Just gonna shade this a little bit better. Make it look a little bit more realistic. It doesn't have to be amazing. It's just school. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Maybe just gonna put some lighten in there. And yeah, uh, this is basically my school art project. So thank you guys for watching my school art project. Um, it's cool to have like tackled two, two things in one. This maroon thing is gonna kill me. Um, multiply. Uh, it's it's cool to have like tackled two. Um, project in one school project video all in one good times more texture bro it's not a massive difference but ah she said a little bit more texture so <laughs> i hope i hope it makes a difference to her but yeah thank you guys for watching uh i hope it, it i hope it teached you about like something something but um Thanks for watching. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching. I, I really, I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this, leave a like. Favorite it if you want to. I don't know. Um, leave a leave a comment down below. Um, any things how I can improve um, what you would like to see more of, and I will get to it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. All eyes on you. Everybody wants you. Stop.